I'm like a cat trying to get in the bathroom while you're in there. I'm just like rolling up against the door to try and... All right, uh, moving over Dread's gonna be difficult terrain, right? That all I am to you, difficult terrain. You've seen the Bad Batch, now meet the Wacky Batch. Oh, I'm a ball droid, but can I back out of this room somehow? <laughs> <laughs> like, I have PTSD from that. That's, that's, I don't ever want to see that again. I have so many better things planned for you all. I can't have you all die here. <laughs> we won't all die. One of us will, <laughs> one of us will leave quietly. <laughs> That's our word. You're not allowed to say that. Oh, he does it. Oh, baby. He hides. Why was I programmed to feel pain? Hello, everyone, and welcome to DN Digital's Starships and Scoundrels campaign. My name is Dave, and I'll be your game master. We're using the Star Wars 5e system to tell the story of a crew of a smuggling freighter known as the Mayday set about a year after the fall of the Jedi Order. Each session is going to be going live on Wednesdays around 3 p.m. Pacific time, so make sure to subscribe, click that bell, do all those YouTube things, and tune back in next week for more action. With all that out of the way, let's get into it. Last time on Starships and Scoundrels, the crew of the Mayday proceeded to a new sector full of a wide variety of scientific equipment and enhanced stormtroopers. The crew forced their foes to retreat. Most were slaughtered, except for the last who was interrogated, and then slaughtered. With new information gathered, the crew stood at a fork in their path as they pondered which direction to turn. And we return now to the crew of the Mayday, um, as you all stand in, as previously you saw, um, a Room full of various types of scientific equipment, a few tables here and there, some various like kind of bottles and beakers, electronics, the whole works. Um, you've got one store, well, they're not really stormtroopers technically, but you know, they're wearing dark uh, plasteel armor um, on the ground. The, the guy that you had is very much not in possession of his own head anymore um, due to a certain decapitation. Um, but yeah, the room seems to have at least settled as far as you can tell. Um, and just moments later, uh, Alo finally catches up, um, running up behind all of you, uh, running into the room. What do you all want to do? Uh, Dave, do I recognize these troopers at all? Uh, give me a lore check. Can I say lore these hoes? Could I attempt to give advantage? Oh, lore these hoes. Okay. <laughs> no, this is purely Alo just thinking. Lore to these I mean, hoes. Unless if Alo, you're literally walking into the room saying, hey, wait, do I recognize these? Then, no, nah, there's no way anyone can help him. Uh, an 11, which is just an 11. You, um, you've seen this armor design before. Um, you know it's just like a more elite, advanced, um, like set of armor. It's not something that, uh, the Empire would waste on low level troops. It's far more clearly one of those, like, oh, these show potential. Let's put them in, like, the Navy SEALs program kind of deal. All right. So, yeah, that's oh, pretty, love, that's about all you gather from that. I love, what, okay. what, what, what? You got a ball rag um, on dragon from your shoe. Just thought you had to know before I've we got a, know. I've got a... A what? A ball rag. You know, a uh, rag you use on the ball. Talking about masturbation. I... Oh, man. Um, I just thought right. I'd let you know before, you know, you're walking all over the station with a ball rag on your shoe. Are you sure you're not mispronouncing ball gag? So, uh, I was going to ask about these, these dead guys, but, um... I mean, they're oh. dead. We are off to a hell of a start where we're talking about masturbation five seconds into the week. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was talking about <laughs> toilet paper, but okay. I know what you were talking about, but anyway, sorry. <laughs> Harry, Harry, though. Ayla wants to, sorry, Ayla wants to, to ask, but um, sorry, I don't, I shouldn't have derailed. I mean, Ayla there is the start of a dick and balls on the map, so. <laughs> yeah, I realized that, unfortunately, after I finished drawing it. I was like, oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one of those yeah. weeks, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. clearly one where uh, old Lefty is uh, the dominant of the two. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely, I, I definitely last week sent out to the group of, am I the only one seeing this? I call that one Mary Kate. Uh. <laughs> okay, Alo. So you know this, is this guy alive or dead? Dead, very dead. Okay. He has no head. He has, well, his head is on, kind of rolled about five feet off to the side. Um, it wasn't who you think it was. I'll give you. I'll tell you that. 
Uh, oh. All right. Um, so, did anyone get a chance to like question them, find out why they're down here? Because I think that was the plan at one point, but obviously that. Well, you're summoned to, uh, Granny. Granny, why don't you wait? Which one's Granny today? Uh, uh, not, tell me we're not still doing this. Um, I don't, was there I am, I guess? more than one? No, they they got matching outfits and now they can't tell each other apart. Right, no, of course. Right, because, okay. Yeah, I think um, you're anyone uh, that can you... tell them apart. So, um, I I just... why don't you tell Jonathan what you told me? What did I tell? Oh, Jonathan's back. Hello. There were some nice young boys who wanted to talk to you. I think they were your friends from school, maybe. And they mentioned something about some lady that you were supposed to meet. All right, Granny. Um, so these boys, were they like not really boys, just sort of like weird underwater creatures? Was... They were really good at swimming, oh, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, did they say anything about the, the girl that's down here? Uh... It's really important I know this. Apparently she's younger than me. Yup. No, she's definitely um, younger than you. Uh, did they like but say- not this? prettier. Definitely. She is not prettier. We she is not prettier. Than Granny. I will point out granny they are the same- the fairest maiden in the land. Of course. We learn that the hard way. Why are you making this voice? I'm glad we're all on the same page now. I should point yep. out to you, Elo, that these are the, the same uh, sea creatures that you may bow to you before. Right. So, what did you tell them? Exactly, Granny. Oh, that you would go talk to the lady later on after you were finished relieving yourself. Re- relieving myself? I. Yeah, the bog rag kind of gives it away, mate. You know, That's what we all thought you were doing it, when you wandered off. There's, there's worse things, actually. So I guess that's not that bad. Um, okay, did they say anything about where she is now? Are yeah, there more? that way. Yeah, that way. And Granny points down the hall. Yeah, you do have off to the... So just uh, for Ayla's clarification in particular, um, you came in from the north of this room you're currently in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Down the long hallway that extended off. Uh, you guys only made it through two rooms in this area. Um, one of the troopers, actually two of the troopers tried to flee off to the southeast through going into another very long hallway leading to another sector. Um, one of them was captured that was running off that direction. The other one, uh, you wouldn't know that they got away, but, um, the, that is also the same direction that, uh, like granny and anybody else would be pointing to say what direction the, uh, fish creatures swam off in. Uh, so are we, are we partially submerged right now? No, this room is dry. Um, Okay. Yeah, it was just they they swam up to the outside of the tunnel because uh, the tunnels are all um, they're made out of like a glass like material. So you could even see through it uh, and they telepathically spoke through the walls to Granny. I see. OK. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, totally dry in your got it. current okay. room, I believe. So uh, I suggest we not go that way uh, just for the sake of making this simpler. I think we should avoid her for now. Why is that? We avoid her. You, she is your friend. You know? No, uh, I don't think that's really the right term for what we are. Um, was your friend not nice to you, Jonathan? Sh- I'll go have words with no, her. Granny, no, is no, she no. a bully? She's Should not. Take care of this. Uh, no, no, no. She's not a bully. Um, I just think that um, you know she's friends with some people that uh, don't really like me at the moment, and. I kind of thought I'd be safe from her, you know, like a thousand feet beneath the ocean, but apparently she's down here as well. So, did we find what we're looking for? Can we can we go back yet? Nope. No, uh, we, we still got one more terminal to find. And it's that way, I, I tell And we possibly a cure for the crazy clones down here. Oh, that's right. Uh... I'm, I'm glad that you said it, so I didn't have to tell you. No, I'm actually a little upset you took it away from me, but oh well. Can you tell us who she is? At least we can figure that out. I guess you could say we were uh, schoolmates and we he had a bit of a falling out. How about once we get back to the ship and we're 
sort of out of this mess. I will tell you everything that you need to know, uh, but it's going to take more time. So uh, right now, I just need you to trust me when I tell you that she's not someone that we want to run into. And I think we should go the long way around. Although, uh, Granny here told her that I am here. So... She might try to find us. Why don't you tell us what we're up against? I don't care about your interpersonal problems. I just want to know what we're facing. She's like me. Um... So she's got a lightsaber up her. Uh, you know, I don't really know where she keeps it, but uh, she does have one, and she's, she's quite one with the force. Uh, sure, we, we we could say that, and uh, I don't know how many more of these troopers she has with her, but uh, uh, even H yeah, four uh, starts rolling towards the door. What what what? Rolling up against it. H four, what are you doing? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to run up and just kind of. Him. I'm just gonna okay. da- tackle him. Can I, can I pick him up? Can I, can I just pick him up? Can I run up to him and pick him up? Sam, are you okay with being picked up? <laughs> um, by Harry and no one else. Then He's I mean, sorry, me I'm first. by Granny. By Granny. Then, um, Alo, you try, you run over and can try I use, to pick him up. Can I use force slipping? Can I use force push pull to pick? No, it's fine. Uh, God, it's no. fine. I, I am no, not just avoiding the uh, avoiding the so hard. avoiding <laughs> the non-consensual player against player physical interactions. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's but fine. you can you at can least you can at least like get in the way, make your intent. Okay. 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 You can do okay. That. I'll I'll start I'm like a, getting... I'm like a cat trying to get in the bathroom while you're in there. I'm just like rolling up against <laughs> the door. Trying... All right. Um. So if if we do come across her and something happens to her, the person that she works for is going to come, and he's someone that we really don't want to interact with, so, um... Is he also strong with the Force? He's strong, he's regular strong and strong with the Force, yeah. Can we call him? Uh, no, no, we can't call him. I actually don't know how to get in touch with him, so can't call him, sorry. So to summon him, we have to kill this woman. No, that's n- okay. Uh, no, that's that's not what I'm saying. Just a reminder, I am allowing inside checks against your fellow players. Yeah, inside check. It looks like they're talking to each other. Looks like they're I'm talking to each check other. Him saying that don't he understand know the how language. To call the guy. Yeah, very much. Dread, give me that insight check. <laughs> I'm not good at it, but all right. I'll give do me it. a charisma check, uh, Mr. Alo. There we go. All ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Beat us on Alo, the die. Surprisingly, Alo seems like he actually does not know how to contact this person. Wait, and definitely doesn't want to contact him. You guys have been around Alo long enough to know that he, he usually has this kind of um, doesn't really care, uh, thinks a lot of things are a joke, doesn't take a lot of things seriously. He seems concerned, actually. He seems a little serious here. Red's gonna shrug and start heading for one of the other doors. Well, suit yourself, whatever. I mean, All right. would it probably would it open it? this door? The one that you're currently at, or? Yeah, the one that all the guys are trying to run down. Yeah, I mean, okay, so just because uh, H4 is closer, <sighs> you can open it. Um, it, it. It extends into a very long hallway, going off into the darkness. We should go this way. This is where we are headed. Wait, I'd like yeah. to see the rest of this area first, just in case. We can beat around no the bush, unturned. but we will, all right, we will right, only be just, weaker at the end of it. Can we just keep our voices down, please? All right, we are we strongest are... now. We should. My be voice out. is always down. Okay, so what's the plan for approaching the door that Dread has gone up to? Is Dread opening the door? Are you checking it? You just you guys being sneaky? What's the what's the plan? Uh, Alo's going to try to stealth. Okay. Harry's Anybody gonna who... follow Hunk. And okay. I'm gonna just open it. Okay, let's Once wait for everybody else to roll. <laughs> try. <laughs> I, I, I said like... try. I would like to try as well. Oh, my God. God. That makes me feel better. <laughs> Good job, Mackie Thanks, Momo- uh, Macca's Momoa. Thanks, Jack. Oh, that makes me feel better. Absolutely. Welcome. Fantastic. Um, okay, anybody else trying to be stealthy? 
I, I'm trying, but emphasis on trying. I okay. guess. Give me a sec. Okay. Everybody roll initiative! Shit. Faster, right? I told you we're only going to be weaker if we explore. We need to go directly at, <laughs> at our guy. You are not wrong. <laughs> First up, we got R5. Uh, what do you want to do? 25. 30. And fire a blaster pistol at this guy. All right, give me an attack roll. Can he see him? Can uh, <laughs> Well, my stealth was a 12, so honestly. <laughs> With a 10, yes. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure is all. No, it's worth, it's worth clarifying, but yeah, very much. Yeah, okay. He is very much not hidden. Um, total? 15 total. Yep. That will miss. Uh, well, that sucks. A, same as the other troopers you've seen. Um, even though these guys are squatting down behind um, these... Uh, various tables that they're in. Uh, oh yeah, just to just to describe, um, this room uh, looks far more focused on actual chemical research than the other rooms you've been in so far. It's a lot more like uh, vials and beakers and various heating like implements and things like that, kind of scattered around on all these very large, heavy set um, uh, science tables. And yeah, they clearly seem to have known you were coming because they are squatted down behind. But even still, you can tell that these are two very tall people with um, as their leg. Like you can just see how much their legs are folding to get them down below the angle. Um, but the same dark, very shiny uh, armor that they have on, um, like a stormtrooper's, but uh, you know, right. black instead of white. Um, and so yeah. I am realizing my mistake and going to use cunning action to try to dash out of this situation. I you can. can definitely do that, yeah. <laughs> 25. <laughs> and hide myself away because, uh, yeah. Turns out you don't want to stand in a room by yourself. Very nope. good call, I would assume. All right, on to their turn because, damn, did I roll good on their initiative. Just charge in and dip out Han style. That's how you do it. Well, yes, you do. I, I mean, Dread, you're standing just with literally with right there, so you know what's coming. I'm gonna need a defense roll for uh, the first attack that's coming your way. Yeah, <laughs> you're definitely the most Han Solo character among us. Seventeen. <laughs> Seventeen. Uh, <laughs> I did not mean to not include you in the turn order. Sorry about that. You wouldn't have gone yet, right? Okay, you wouldn't have gone yet. I'll add you in a second. <laughs> it's your own fault for not clicking your token. It will be right. I did. Whatever other roles you might need. I to clicked have to my token. Out. It didn't say, oh, we're sorry. We couldn't find the token. No, I clicked my token and I rolled. It just didn't throw me in there. Okay, so 17, you said yes. Uh, 17 yep. is going to hit you. So that'll yep. be. I don't even see your initiative. 11 points of energy damage. Granny is going to. Use her reaction to uh, project her force barrier, nice. which can absorb six of those points of damage. Hell yeah. Okay, so you project that out. Um, so that drops it down to five minus two for your damage reduction to three. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, as, as you, you see this guy start to stand up and aim down at you, and you can feel Granny from behind. You just extend her hand out. And the blaster bolt that was coming directly square for the middle of your chest just slightly redirects and just clips off your shoulder instead. Very nice. Uh, but you do have another shot coming your way, so I'm going to need another defense. Oh, my good you. shoulder. Actually, yeah, is Dread right handed or left handed? I don't know. Well, he's going to have to learn to be other handed. Uh, <laughs> Whichever one. After this. So. I can't imagine he dominant. installed like some subroutines to make him uh, both ambidextrous. I'll use a fate point to re-roll it. Because All right, you guys were not? at 10. You're at nine now, just so you know. It's worse. <laughs> Hit me, baby. Hit me, baby. It was an eight. Oh, one more time. Oh, boy, that's uh, 12 down to 10 for your reduction. Yahoo! Dread just turns to Ayla goes, Feel somebody else said, and then just flops onto the ground as uh, the blaster hits him. <laughs> yep. So that's that. Uh, as Dread drops unconscious in the doorway, uh, you guys can still move through space, but it's difficult terrain, just so you know. And, uh, well, let's see. Alo, you know, I mean, yep, you thought no. you were stealthy. You really thought you were. 
but it was a four. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna need. Uh, <laughs> I'm like Drax. I thought so, I I'm wasn't gonna need moving. two defense rolls from. How can they see me? Just do one at a time. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. As the pink-skinned uh, Jason Momoa-looking dude stands on the other <laughs> side of a cyborg who just fell unconscious to the ground. All right, seventeen. The lightsaber sticking out of his butt. All right, so seventeen is going to hit. Damn it. Um, so that'll be another blaster coming your way. That one is 10 energy damage, uh, minus whatever your damage reduction is. Uh, I'm going to use my reaction to... Hang on a second. Uh, sorry, my mouse stopped working, so I have to use my trackpad. Uh... I know that pain. It sucks. It's dumb. Okay, we're going to use Saber Reflect. I'm going to attempt to... D6, please. D6. Or wait, no, hold on. 2D6. Are... Yes, yeah, 2D6. High enough level. Yes. Oh. Twelve. Wow. Nice. All right. Hell yeah. Um. Can I? Was that all of it? Yeah, that was more than all of it. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. I think I can. I think it's like deflect missiles. Yeah, you can reflect it back at him. I would like yeah. to do that. Takes the. Yeah, you can uh, go and make a ranged force attack, which will be your charisma plus your proficiency bonus. Uh, okay. Cool. If you can do it against a target that you can see. I recommend putting Dread out of his misery. <laughs> just, just finish him off. Just, <laughs> just deflect it, it right into the ground. Just at least just have let... the decency to put me out with a rock. Just <laughs> do the thing that. Just do the thing that Moff Renz could. Oh, bam. damn! Damn! Damn it! Damn it! So that's uh, that's an eight. Well, it's a natural one on an attack. So oh, you're right. Never mind. Never mind. Um, yeah. I mean, an eight will still miss, but it's a natural one on attack roll. You're right, so, right, right. Um, doesn't matter. But you are still able to deflect all of it. It just uh, bounces straight off back at the guy. Okay. Um, he just ducks down at the last moment, and it splatters on the wall behind him. I'll take that. Um, but he is going to pop back up for one more shot at you, so I need another okay. defense roll, please. Damn it. Thirteen. Thirteen is going to result in you getting hit. Yeah. So that will be... Eleven energy damage. So yeah, 11 energy damage that you take there, um, and then they are both going to take a bonus action to try to hide. Uh, the one closest to the door over here very much fails. The other one uh, just disappears out of sight, and you don't quite know where he went. But that's the end of their turn. Alo, okay. you are up. All right, uh, moving over Dread's gonna be difficult terrain, right? Yeah, so just extra five feet of movement. Five, 10, 15. And I, I am to you, difficult I, terrain. See what I see? <laughs> Just a moderate inconvenience. Quiet down all back my there. life means. 10, 15, 20, 20, 30. He's certainly loud in death, this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to, I will move there, and then I'm going to open up my force powers. I'm going to cast a uh, force blur on myself. Ooh. Um, Nifty. That is my... Cool. Uh, I'm just going to give this little... Which one do I do? That's kind of like a blur. Sure. Sure. I'm spinning like a Beyblade. Um, Mm -hmm. And that's it for Alo? That's it for Alo. All right. Dread, give me a death saving throw, please, as you are at zero hit points. I rolled a 15. All right. Give yourself one success. And we're on to H4. What would you like to do, H4? As everybody has ignored your direction of where you should be going and has charged into a room and Dread fell unconscious after two seconds. His ocular thing just keeps going back and forth like the door that I want to go in, these fucking idiots. All right, these fucking idiots. Okay. Um, Sam, you've already burned through our fuck quota in like one turn. Well, he burned through his fuck quota, Dave. And that can happen in a game like this. It happens from time to time. But yeah, sorry. Uh, you're fucking doing what? <laughs> I'm going to fucking zigzag through this room and I'm going to fucking touch dread and use my vow of restoration. Uh, what's my martial arts die? I think it's only a D6. Does this apply to um, droids and con- constructs? The full text does one willing creature. Uh, well, that's not the full text. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, that's, that's the entire description. That is, is it. That, that is, is it. One full. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, it doesn't specify that it does not apply to droids or constructs. I guess so. Let me get this fool up with one 
1d6 worth of healing. You better appreciate this uh, five points of healing that you get. And uh, I believe that's like one of my key points, isn't it? Focus points, sorry, focus points. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you really better appreciate that, sir. But you're, you're, you got five hit points now. Yeah. Um, One of Drod's eyes lights back up. He's like, you couldn't have rolled like five higher on your initiative. Okay, uh, <laughs> and since that was considered my unarmed strike, I'm going to stake another unarmed strike to just slap the shit out of Dread. <laughs> 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 no, um, I know, I know I don't get another attack. Uh, Correct. That's, yeah. um, wait, I have more movement. I'm going to move slightly away from this door because I don't want to be near that stupid door. That's not the right door. It's the wrong uh, door. I'm going to be standing next to Granny. Granny? Granny? I am right. Oh, no. I think it's I think it's Harry. <laughs> Harry, I am behind you all the way. I still wish you were kept in. Gave up remembering who's who like two <laughs> weeks ago. Anything else for H4? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, that's his turn. He wasted it. Very getting nice. back up. Very nice. He wasted whatever, it. <laughs> um, what a waste. Okay, whatever. I mean, um, he's not wrong. <laughs> he's not wrong. They do get another turn before Dread gets to do yep. anything. But, Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> until something else happens. Uh, the one that's actually a Wookiee, whatever name you are currently going by, it is your turn. I am going by Granny. Got it. Granny, it's your turn. Oh, God. <laughs> so crazy. You're just going to have to, like, cross out the nameplate every time until it just, like, fills the screen. Hey, we're wearing one. matching robes. What do you expect? <laughs> be able to tell the difference between a Wookiee and a Miraluka. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dave. <laughs> but anyway. There's much more I composed way of what I was going to say. I don't I see I know I've, been, I've been advised to let the Wookiee win, but you're going to have to earn it at my... Well, it's at my computer, sir. So what are you going to do? <laughs> All right. So he's going to uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25 to get here. Can he move uh, um, draw up a spot uh, to this spot just so he's, I guess. Yeah, kind of it'd be like, the, yeah, it's basically take, doing a shove attack where the other person's just saying, yeah, sure, you can push me. Uh, but it would be your action to move him. OK, um, I can send. But yeah, it, yeah, if you want, you can move him out of the way. Um, as an action. I have plans for that action. Granny can move him. I am Granny. Uh, <laughs> Harry can move him. <laughs> I hate this bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Harry will just run forward. But it's not Harry's turn. Forward. You already told me. You're Granny. <laughs> it's because he's not wearing the hat. Put on the hat, Granny. Put on the hat. <laughs> and then, um... He's yeah, going to use his action to uh, dodge. Okay. You are a dodging. Old woman, whatever name you prefer at this time, it is your turn. The old woman will use a uh, force push pull to move Dread to that spot. Yeah. Is it normally five feet or ten feet for force push and pull? Ten feet. I would, oh, okay, cool. Ten it feet. would be five feet, but... Once you get to level five, it mm -hmm. increases to 10 feet for medium sized creatures. Nice. So, yeah, you can very much move him uh, up to 10 feet. Props to UVM for not defining her by her disability. Very progressive. Yeah, I just defined her by her gender. Um, you know, <laughs> and her <laughs> age. <laughs> you sexist, ageist bastard. <laughs> just, you know, the other. I had to find something when you take away your names from me. <laughs> um, okay. So, R5, um, it is your turn. Yep. Top of uh, round two. Uh, to start, I'd like to use my bonus action to try to hide. Okay, give me a stealth check. 16. Cool. So that'll be 5, 10. And then try to take a blaster shot at this guy. Yeah, sure. You are not hidden, but you can you can roll the attack. Worth a shot. Never mind, it wasn't worth a shot. Uh, that's a natural one. But yeah, that'll miss. I crawl back into my corner with shame. They're very good at what they do. Um, yep. So what they, what they do of, isn't very nice. No, sir. Um, okay, so we got the one that is still visible to both Harry and Alo over there. 
I am going to need both of you to give me a con saving throw as this guy goes and sets his, he really quickly like puts his blaster rifle down onto the table right next to him and starts punching in some stuff into his like little wrist controller and points his hand at you. Uh, and this mist starts shooting out towards both of you. Uh, 24. 18. Nice, you both succeed. Um, so you only take uh, half of this damage. So, and you don't take a level of the slowed condition. So that is a good thing. Um, and that will be this many D6s halved. The reduced amount of damage is nine points of damage. Of cold damage in particular, as just this cryogenic wave just blasts over both of you. Um, and then that's reduced by whatever your damage reduction is. Uh, armor wouldn't reduce that, would it? Yeah, whatever your arm damage reduction is from your armor and stuff. Oh, uh, okay, applies. cool. So nine minus, I forget what everyone says. Okay. He'll pick his um, blaster back up, and then as a bonus action, he is going to try to hide. Oh, he does it. Oh, baby. He hides. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, he's wearing black armor, so he should just disappear right into the shadows, right? Sure, that's what happens. Um, But the other one pops out um, from his hiding place to take a shot Uh, at uh, Alo. You're closer. Yep, I am. um, Give me a defense roll, please, as he's going to shoot at you. Welcome back, Matt. (laughs) Wonderful. Uh, 17. A 17. It's not going to be good enough. All right. So that'll be 12 energy damage. For I'm going to, uh, I'll one. use my reaction to deflect that. Nice. Uh, uh, go ahead and roll me those 2d6, please. Let me just be official here. And uh, 2d6 coming up. Will be not nearly as good as last time. All right. So you said it was t- uh, 12? Yep, 12. And you rolled a... Uh, five. five. So, so, yeah, sweet. So that's 12 down, 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 to, down seven, to seven, then down minus seven. your damage reduction, uh, yep. which is... Two, I'm, I'm two, guessing. Two, um, yep. Yeah. It's nice. So you only take five. But you got another shot coming your way. So another defense roll, please. Balls. All right. We need you to be better. Oh. That was that was not better. 17. That was literally... It was literally so the same close. Thing. Um, the same are you thing. good with the 17? You know a 17 will hit you. Uh, I, would like to use a, I would like to use a fate point, please. All right, cool. So that brings okay. you guys collectively to eight fate points. Ah, 21. Much better. <laughs> Yeah, 21's good enough. Uh, You're able to, you deflect the first one, um, and so it just kind of glances against you, and your lightsaber is still up, and it just kind of bounces the blaster bolt directly down into the floor. Um, He ducks back for cover behind that table, um, just in the sense that he's got, uh, unless if you can actually get proper line of sight, he's got full cover, but he's not hidden. You guys know where he is. Okay, cool. Um, And it is Alo's turn now. Five. Okay. I will move to yonder square, and I will uh, gonna do uh, a light claymore attack on him. Son of a bitch! That's gonna be ten. A ten will miss. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Second attack coming. Oh, baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, we got fade points. No, I've already used one this round. I don't want to use two in one round. You know what? That's okay. I will use I will use my bonus action. Question mark? <laughs> me, I will me. say, you know, if we don't use them, we may not have more rounds to actually use them. And also just, just we're not doing well, so use what you can to do what you can. No, you guys are rolling so bad. Yeah. So bad. The dice want us to die tonight. Alright. I will use a four I, I will use a force point then. Just because I would like to hit him. Uh, oh, fate point. Yes, yes the fate cool. point. Go for it. Brings okay. you guys down to seven, and I have six. <sighs> Buddy. Oh, baby. There's only so much I can help you here. <laughs> There's only so much I can do. But the dice said no. Okay. I'm sorry. No, no. Okay. That's the uh, dice... That's it. That's all I got. Yep. The, di- the dice gods said no, unfortunately. Yep. W dread. You have been uh, force pulled along the ground by an old woman, and um, you have five <laughs> hit points. <laughs> yeah. You wo- you woke up and then you just hear the sound of your own back screeching along the metal floor. I like to think it right. was super slow too. Like if you were in the room, you would just see his feet slowly going through the door. Yep. 
<laughs> Full on nails on a chalkboard sound too. It was not pleasant. Get a lot for that back. <laughs> but you do have a turn. What would you like to do? A turn that doesn't involve rolling death saves. Yeah, so I'm going to use a bonus action to roll a hit die to start with. Sweet. I'm going to get two points of healing. <laughs> yeah, baby. Be, it's Guys. not that easy. Oh. It's not that easy rolling your oh, hit points. Oh, these dice these make love it hard us. for me. Good make God, it hard huh? for me to kill you. Come on. <laughs> I'm glad you clarified what, what we're making it hard for. <laughs> this is my problem. He's going to stay prone and he's going to crawl to the doorway and see if he can see anybody. No, he's ducked behind a table and you've got multiple other tables in between you and there. So, I mean, you can see Harry. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Dred's just Dred's just going to go. Harry, uh, wait, Rene, you see him? You definitely hear the sounds of them in there. You know something's going on. <laughs> to his knowledge, uh, Harry is going by Granny right now, but we'll see what happens. Oh, God. You were out for a while. You don't know. We did this to ourselves. Everybody except for Alo hears Dread say that because Alo is just a little too far away with his whispered tone. Um, anybody who might respond as Granny, feel free to give a response now. <laughs> Yes, I see somebody behind the table back there. I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna fire it. Uh, okay. I'm gonna fire a stormy shot at this guy. Okay, definitely from that angle, he's got three quarters oh, cover geez. at least. So you can try. Okay. It's very unlikely you'll hit, but you can try. 18. Not with the amount of cover he's got, unfortunately. And I'm gonna go five feet back. Away right. from the door. <laughs> Away from the cursed door. Uh, and on to H4's turn, I believe, then. H4 like to is going to move 15 feet to get a lay of the land here. Oh, there's one guy in there that he can see. Get behind this crate, and I will use my action to attempt to stealth. Yeah, go for it. Give me a stealth roll. I have no range. I can't help you out there, Alo. Stealth check. 27 with a natural 20. Yeah, you're, you can consider yourself hidden. Yeah, Woo. for sure. I like I like putting the little the ninja icon on my guy. Ooh, there he Without is. Without a doubt, you are hidden. The hairy one. It is your turn. Yes. Um, are jumping over these um, tables... Uh, Just difficult terrain, if you want to go over the table. 5, 30, 35. You do a cool Dukes of Hazard like slide over the hood <laughs> with a raging vibroax. Yeah, so he's gonna 5, 10, 15. I don't like the combo of raging and vibroax. <laughs> so I just didn't feel good about that. Uh, it's not what I intended to say, but I said it and I didn't I didn't hate it. Then he is gonna stand there and attack. Do it. Yeah, you, you've got no cover there, but yeah, that'll definitely Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah. yeah. It, you're Harry Johnson in you, but you don't care. Yeah. Uh, 18? 18 will hit. For 15 kinetic damage. Nice. And then another Vibro Battle X attack for ooh, 14. 14's gonna miss. Yes. Granny! Granny is gonna move here. Granny, you know that the other one is over behind this table. All right. Granny's gonna try to force pull him back up over the table. Okay. To get uh, him out of cover. Hell yeah. So he needs to make a strength saving throw. That is an 11. So That is a failure the first time. Hey. <laughs> first time, baby. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's not true. It, it worked on one of the crazy clones. It worked it, it's on, just it the first on, death trooper it's worked on. It worked on a crazy cl- Them crazy <laughs> clones. <laughs> crazy clones. <laughs> You've seen the bad batch. Now meet the wacky batch. So because of difficult terrain, it's just going to pull him up on top of the table. But you can pull him up on top of the table. So... But yeah, you just pull him up and he's just like up on top, just like falling gets yanked up and it's just like on his belly, like head helmet pointed towards the rest of you. Nice. Granny's going to move back. And that's her turn. I, as soon as I said Quasi, I just went into um, Krusty the Clowns. Uh, yes. That's what I was <laughs> thinking. Merry Christmas. Quasi Kwanzaa. Quasi Kwanzaa and a solemn dignified Ramadan. <laughs> Uh, classic. Um, R5, it's your turn. Round three, baby. All right. 
Uh, let's start by trying to make a stealth check. And that's not great. It's not enough. You're not hidden. Okay, so I'm gonna. So that's ten feet of movement. Uh, I'm gonna try to use an action to cast repair droid on to uh, onto dread. No trying involved. You just do it. Roll those. Uh, roll the thing. So that is nine total points of healing. Nice. On to their turn. All right. Well, we got uh, at least the one that's just up and up against uh, both Harry and Halo. You see him go, and uh, Harry, I believe you've seen this effect before. Um, you see him slap this pouch on his hip, um, and this green glow starts to emanate out. And I am going to need both of you to give me a constitution saving throw. 17. 15. Nice. Uh, you both succeed, so good job. Um, so you take <laughs> half of this and don't take a level of exhaustion. This could be a lot. could be very little. Who knows? Uh, so that would be 15 down to uh, seven points of necrotic damage reduced by whatever your things are. Uh, bonus action, he is going to disengage and try to run away from both of you. Yes, he is. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. This guy is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, hey, R5. Um, so this oh. one's coming for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh no. Bro. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh no. But he rolled an 11 <laughs> for his stealth. How could he be seen? Uh, I figured it was going to be bad. I just didn't think it was going to be this bad. This he quick. kept his hazard lights on. <laughs> R5, can you, R5, can you give me a constitution saving throw, please? Oh, Baby, that's. <laughs> I don't want to talk. I'm sorry, about I couldn't it. hear you there. What, what was that? <laughs> I don't, don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk right. about no natural. That is a right hardcore now. failure, baby. As he casts overheat on you, oh. and you feel your oh. entire body start body start to glow red hot as you take. Get that Barty hot. Get that Barty hot, baby. Um, so that's five. It's only five points of fire damage for you coming in. Yes. Party's on it's fire! Only five. <laughs> and that's all we can legally it's use. It's only five points of fire damage. For now. Party. Oh, by the way, you also have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks um, for the moment, so. Ooh, sweet. Yeah, that's... Yeah, as you basically just got heat metal cast on your droid body, so. Woohoo! Yeah. Have fun with that. Okay. Um, <laughs> Alo, your turn. We gotta swing this quick, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I'm a ball droid, but can I back out of this room somehow? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess it's technically backing up as long as you point your like just, ocular <laughs> sensors away from the direction you're moving. Yeah. You're also hidden. They don't know where you are. <laughs> yeah, hey, you're charging on in. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm gonna do a gonna do a claymore attack on him. Hell yeah. Oh man. Come oh, on. Oh, Hell no. Hell no. I'm going to use a fate point on that. Okay. What is going on? Uh, I assume a 14 misses. Yeah, 14 will miss. Okay. If you want to switch over to real dice, you, um, that's fine by me. Um, if you're just not trusting. That doesn't have right real now. dice. <laughs> somewhere. That's not true. I know for a fact that he does. No, I do. They're, they're I've somewhere. I've seen his real dice. I've seen. I know in particular he's time. got all of those. But not in a long time. He's got those What's like that? Super Mario got... 8-bit. Ones? Yeah, they're like the 8 bit ones. Are they from that Holy like, one sh- card game where wow. you uh, build a dungeon? Actually, and you're like Boss Monster. Is that what it's called? Uh, is that what those dice are from? There's Boss Monster and there's another one similar. Yeah, uh, no, wait a second. I know I, I know you have a D20 because I gave you one for Christmas. Yes, you did. Yeah, so there. So I do. You didn't keep his Christmas present D20? <laughs> I, he, re, he re-gifted. He re-gifted. It's in the, it's in the, it's in the bag somewhere. <laughs> I mean, it's better than throwing it away, but so, you re-gifted the oof. Christmas D20? I There's no did. more cursed D20 than a re-gifted D20. <laughs> I, don't, I couldn't do that to somebody. Okay, second attack coming up. Here we go. Okay, 18. 18 will hit. Go ahead and roll okay, some damage. 18 will hit. Hang on. I'm going to do a force uh, force powered strike. Yeah, you are. I'm going to up this. <laughs> I have do so many better things planned nasty. for you all. I can't have you all die here. <laughs> Two, three. Uh, I'm gonna do a second. I'm gonna do a second level. We won't all die. One That's of us fair. will. One of us will leave quietly. H four is just gonna turn around and go off to the other room by himself. He's gonna go. That is a gonna, sacrifice I, that Hunk is willing to make. <laughs> exactly. 
I thought I was on a mission to find somebody like Alo, but that's a lost cause. Time to no. leave. <laughs> Go I can find still find somebody. somebody. Else. No, I can still find somebody like Alo. It's Xenia or whatever her name is in the other room. <laughs> She's right here. Xenia is a different campaign. I know, but I can't remember her name, and it was something with like a Z sound. That's a... I'm gonna do a level two slot, so therefore I'm spending three force points. So that's three D eight. Uh, uh, 25, 25 energy damage. Nice. Beautiful. That did a lot of damage. Uh, he's not feeling good, but still up. Maybe you sound really good tonight. Are you, are you starting up an ASMR channel? Maybe I should. No, I would just guess the mic's just positioned better. I just thought I'd point it out. Oh Get my. Shrimp scampi with club sauce. Sir, you're married, and I'm in a committed relationship. Please stop this. I'm married with club sauce. Stop this before it goes too far. So this is where we draw the line. (laughs) Just Lucille (laughs) 2 slapping the table saying, no, stop it. (laughs) (laughs) It's such a good bit and it's so passing, but I love it. With club sauce. Depends on how good you roll if you deserve the club sauce. I'm gonna cut. Uh, this is not gonna. Sauce. No, this is all. This is gonna make everyone uncomfortable. <laughs> all right, let's see. I'm, I'm gonna pop my head back in. Oh, bad guys! Great. And he's gonna fire off a shot at the guy on Alo. Yeah, go for it. Got no cover, so. It's a 19. 19 will hit. Hit. Hell yeah. Okay. Just, I was just waiting for you to call out your roll. Storming shot for six points of acid damage. And he's shocked. Yes, he is. So no reactions and either an action or a bonus action, not both. Correct. Sweet. I'm finally remembering it. Huzzah. Um, okay. Nice. He takes six points of acid damage. I'll leave the club sauce up to the rest of you. I'm going to use another bonus action to roll another hit die. <laughs> Oh. And another two hit points. That is, that is with cursed. my plus one for constitution. Oh my god! If you Bye. die tonight, it's your own fault. <laughs> no, it's roll twenties. No. no, 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 no. I accept it. Clearly, I've done something well, to annoy roll twenty. I mean, the thing you did was stand in front of the doorway that you opened. <laughs> but, that uh, was, I'm gonna, that was the thing you did. But you um, also just chose back into the, the room. wrong door. You just chose the wrong door. And enjoy my spicy club sauce. Stop, I'm going to have to cut it all out. (laughs) If we do this the entire night, then Sam can't post the episode. (laughs) I don't know how that benefits all of us, but... (laughs) (laughs) It's H4's turn. (laughs) All right, I am going to hit this guy. Advantage? Yes, sir. 21. 21 will hit. Uh, that's eight kinetic damage. Still up, but looking bad. Second one. Oh, I should not be at an advantage. That's exactly... Okay, so 11 misses. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I gotta remove the little ninja guy, because I will not remember. And then third, unarmed strike. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, I know 16 misses, so I will use a fate point. Do you know that? You know what? I'm going to leave it. I can't remember what happened last week, so I'm going to leave it. 16 will hit. Roll damage with club sauce. Yeah, that middle that middle attack, I slipped on a packet of club sauce. Um, <laughs> That's what did uh, it. Nine kinetic damage for the last, the last hit. That's actually just enough to drop him. Very nice. <gasps> Uh, he falls in a vat of club sauce. Was, no, this room is totally H- dry. <laughs> H4 has a like club sauce compartment installed, and he just sprays <laughs> the body with the club sauce. <laughs> I just gotta lean into it now. It's it's a it's the twenty one thing all over again. Uh, I'm the one running, so I get to choose when to <laughs> twenty four is disadvantage. Um, okay. Anything else for H4? <laughs> 35, 30, 35. 40, he's going to get uh, back behind this little crate. All right, cool. So then we are on to Harry's turn. All right, he's just going to run all the way over here because he can. You know it. And then he's going to, because it's one guy, reckless attack. Mm-hmm. 
Play advantage. Vibro Battle Axe! Vibro Battle Axe! Ooh. 26. Ooh, baby, that hits. Uh, for 14. Very nice. And let me roll this Adde Tuante for him. He succeeds. Uh, oh, concentration God. stays up, but he takes the damage. Uh, another Vibro Battle Axe. Uh, 19. 19 will hit. For 8. He keeps concentration. Nice. Okay. Um, let me see. Five, ten. So yeah, 15, 20, yeah. Our five, our five is still glowing red hot on the other side of that table over there. Why was I programmed to feel pain? <laughs> Why? All right. Yeah. Because it kept you in line. He's. I I know he can disengage as a bonus, but he's just gonna move there. Granny. Granny's going to uh, force push him into the wall right there. Nice. So he needs uh, to make a strength saving throw. Okay, then. That will be a 13 on the strength save. That is a fail. Nice. Uh, he takes a whopping 2d4 damage. Huh. <sighs> Six kinetic damage. Okay. Nice. And, and, and. Actually, I'm going to use a fate point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. And there goes all that build up. And he still rolled too low, so he fails oh. and drops concentration. <laughs> I rolled a four and a six. Come on. <laughs> Granny is a hero. <laughs> Granny is a hero. I, I mean, I'm not here. All right. And then R5, the heat that was spreading around your body just dissipates, and you begin to move back to normal, still damaged. <sighs> R5, it is your turn. What would you like to do? All right, and so just to be clear, I am no longer cosplaying as Samsung Note 7. Correct. All right, so <laughs> no took, took me a sec, fire. but I got there. I got, I got, I got, I caught up eventually. Just that is one hell of a. I still don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Somebody explain it to me in detail. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna move up. <laughs> and hidden blade. 27 total. 27 will hit. So that is a total of 21 points of damage. Nice. Still up, but very nice. Looking rough. And then I'd like to use a bonus action to disengage and then move one square back. On to their turn. Um, well, we got just the one left in the room. We got H4 over there and we got an R5. Yeah, he's going to just go ahead. Uh, bonus action to disengage and say, screw it. He's gonna burn a couple extra little things to make this be a little nastier at least as he goes to slap that little pack on his hip and the familiar or now familiar green energy starts radiating out. I am going to need Alo, Harry, R5 and H4 to roll a con save. This is gonna be necrotic damage. So whatever your droid things are, you you know, do your droid thing. Uh, 17. 14. 14. Uh, 25. All right, so the two non-droids succeed, so they only take half of this. The droids take the full and then reduce it by half because they're droids. So (laughs) that will be because they're droids, and that's how necrotic damage on droids works. Um, Okay, he knows he's not long for this world, so he burned what little he's got left. Smoke him if you got him. Uh, So that's uh, 31 down to 15 necrotic damage for all of you. (sighs) All right. Harry's down. Jesus. There he's down. All right. I'm and, not, uh, I'm not far see, behind. He actually, he actually saw that. He saw the Wookiee go down, and he's like, oh, <laughs> I have a chance. Run away. <laughs> and he's going <laughs> to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to get over there as he is very clearly running away. Um, Alo, it's your turn. 10, 15, I'm going to track him down. 5, 10, 15, and it's going to be a third point. All right, all right, all right. How many faith points do we have left? Five. I'm taking one. No witnesses. No witnesses. That's better. 21, plenty more strike coming at him. 16 energy damage. He's so close. Okay, I got another attack. That's fine. so frustratingly close. I have another attack. That's fine. Coming his way. 26. Would you care to describe what horrible things you do to him with your lightsaber? Ayla was frustrated because he's close to a person he doesn't want to see. And these 
troopers are just getting in his way. So he he will uh, he stabs the the trooper through the back, and his orange saber comes through the front of his chest, and he kind of rips it up through his shoulder. And then uh, we'll just say for flair, he he does a decapitation, but no blood though. It uh, the whole thing's cauterized, so it looks kind of weird, actually. You slice the giant seven into him, mm-hmm. um, and somehow there's still no blood. Um, yeah, you hear the briefest of yelps as this beam of light just juts through his body, and just the quickest of cuts just dread. It's your turn. And we're still in initiative. Okay. You are indeed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a certain somebody Bye. that's about to roll death saves. You don't worry about me. I mean, it's Kirby, uh, so I know what's going to happen. But Kirby, you know. I'm sorry, buddy. Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to try to stabilize Granny. I mean, Harry. I mean, Granny. I mean, ah. No, you, you, <laughs> got, you, you think it's Granny, so you're like, oh, she's had a long life. <laughs> Just let it go. <laughs> they are both organics, so you, it's a medicine check either way. So give me a medicine check, please. It's a five. <laughs> Five's not good enough. No, I'm sorry. Harry I'm is saved. still Harry's still unconscious. <laughs> You're saved. <laughs> Anything else for dread? I will offer a potent aptitude to Hunk. Okay, Hunk, you got yourself a potent aptitude. So he can open the next door better. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever you want to do with it. I, uh, I yeah, if you want to leave your best friend, go for it. Eddie, I hope you appreciate this, and I will use my very last focus point to bring him back up. That is a total of six hit points. Nice. Harry, you feel the wave of energy kind of flow back over you as the darkness dissipates and your eyes pop open as you're on the ground with four hit points. And now we're dropping out of initiative. Boom. Granny's going to walk up and say, that was nice of you, hunk, but I have this. And she's going to hold out the med pack to Harry. <laughs> Harry, I did not know you had that. I would not have stabilized Granny if it was not. Brutal truth, Tom. I think we know who, we all know who was at fault here. Those bloody guys for not coming out when we were interrogating their brother in arms to help him and reveal themselves to us so that we wouldn't have had to Come in all surprised like. It's clearly their fault. Those dead guys over there. And uh, no one else's. They really didn't help at all during the first fight, did they? They just let their comrades fight for them. And then get tortured. They seemed hunkered down, so... In all honesty, if they had joined that first fight, we may not have survived, so... Thank you, dead body. Thank you. I'll just say it right now, I would die for each and every... Hey, why not? Each and every one of you. mean you almost did? Actually, you died for yourself that time. <laughs> um, is one of these guys making death saves? Should I pop him a couple times? <laughs> As all that's being said, just because of where R5 is currently still sitting, you catch a glimpse of a black boot um, kind of out of the corner, like kind of barely peering around the walls, um, running through the room you were all previously in and towards the, uh, clearly towards the direction that H4 was trying to encourage you all to travel. So to the south, like to the south or south. Yeah. Okay. Shit. Perfect shit. Let us go find this uh, woman you know. No, that's, uh, I think that, especially now, uh, now we definitely don't want to run into her. So, Wait, what, 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 what's if the I said, difference now? Well, uh, we are weaker R5 because we a, R5 has not said a thing to be clear. Only R5 noticed this. But I think we should check out this room a little bit more. I, I don't see much of a point in rushing off ahead. Hank seems dead set up on us meeting this mystery woman and uh, uh, well, Halo is I was, I not on board with it that. It was not a good idea even before this and now we're in pretty rough shape and most probably going to end in a fight if we end up meeting up with her and uh, to forgive the pun uh, we're um, barely treading no, water as it is. Not a good idea. I'm actually going to be honest I feel better than when this fight started. We can look into that later. I don't know how it happened but 
Listen. Here we are. Granny so, looks like she is dying. Oh, real quick. Oh, I, oh, I, I just I, I feel exactly the same as I always do. <laughs> yeah, that's you just look like you are dying. This is how she looks. I saw Harry fall. Like, I have PTSD from that. That's, that's, I don't ever want to see that again. And seeing your grandmother fall, that is a traumatizing event. I can understand. Do not worry. If she falls, she has life alert. She will let you know. Um, Just to uh, really quickly describe this room now that you all have a little bit more time in here. Like I said previously, it's more, it's like a chem lab. There's a lot of like beakers and vials. Well, there were more, but they got knocked off by the various droids and Wookiees climbing around on the tables. Um, so there are fewer of them. A few of them look like a little sauce bottle with this like kind of mostly orange reddish thick type of sauce inside of it. Um, but the other ones seem to have more standard, like, chemicals. Some are clear, some are this kind of blue color. Um, you also see that the room is lined with these various, um, kind of like storage bins, closets, things like that. You figure about half of them have been opened so far. Uh, probably just seems like whoever was trying to turn the room over hadn't gotten to the rest of it yet. But, um, yeah. That's, uh, that's the room. There are also three other doors that you have not seen opened yet, all to the south and west. I would like to investigate. Yeah, give me an investigation check. Sauce. 23. You are very positive that it is Club Sauce. <laughs> H4 just starts flipping all the tables. He flips all of the tables, including the one that R5 is on. H4, I'm give me an investigation gonna check. Grab what? the the then, vial of club sauce as he yeah. grabs. Oh yeah, you grab it before H4 club can sauce as he flips the table. I'm just gonna down it into the feeding tube. It's delicious. It is delicious. A little overpowering, um, because you don't actually have anything to balance it out. Um, it was the spicy on, club sauce. On its own, it's a little potent. Um, <laughs> usually want a little something very to spicy the flavor out. But oh. as H four is flip, as I was saying, as H four is flipping tables, I would like an investigation check, please. Okay, I was, I was, I was pausing to make sure I heard you correctly. Investigation. You did hear, you did hear correctly, indeed. <laughs> that is a solid four. Are you content with a solid four? I don't see anything, um, any reason why I would want to know more about this godforsaken club sauce room. So I will not use a bait point to know more about the club sauce room. Can I search one of the dead troopers? Sure. Give me an investigation check. All right. If nobody else is going to help this poor sap, I'm going to help Matt. I'm going to assist Matt in investigating Patrick Swayze in ghost style from it's... from behind wrapping the arms around the torso. You know. <laughs> yeah, very Gently. much. You feel these robot arms reaching around and You're guiding you with Demi their me. Um, uh, Halo. You, you are Demi Moore in this situation. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a twenty-five on my Halo. assistance check. Oh yeah, yeah, you succeed. Alo, can you roll me a D one hundred, please? Ninety-two. So you find um, on this uh, particular trooper, um, you find you notice that the blaster that he was holding is actually fairly modified. Looks like it's gotten a lot of upgrades, a lot of uh, enhancements over time. And if you want to know specifically what it actually does, it's an AB-75 bow rifle. I I would also like, I would like to investigate for any notes or any data pads or anything left behind. R5, go ahead and give me that investi- I would, I'd say you're kind of scanning around the room. It's If you're not picking a specific spot to look, that's more of a perception check. So, Gotcha. Uh, if you could give me one of those, please. 24. Nice. Um, yeah, you do find actually a... Uh, underneath one of the tables, there still is a little file cabinet type storage area. It's not literal files because they don't keep paper around here. But um, you find a little storage bin uh, where you find a data pad inside of it. Most of it's kind of just like chemistry notes, uh, various experiments um, that they've been doing for different processes, seeing about what they can do to modify the actual, like, you know, uh, type of fluid that the clones are growing inside of. But you do start to notice uh, towards the end of it mentions about um, a disease. Uh, it's referred to actually even as a plague a couple times that has started spreading through the clones. 
you don't see much in the way of that. It's all a lot of kind of frustrated notes, um, but this person seems to be pointing a lot of blame towards Lynn for, uh, they're not quite sure, but they think that uh, Lynn is withholding information from them. Oh, gee. Look at her. Getting off. Withholding. Yeah, I'll I'll share the data pad with Drawd and mm-hmm. let him know what's up. Thanks. Th- thank you. Oh, Faf, can I borrow you for a sec? In what capacity? Nothing untoward. I just... You're probably, not going to try to throw me. Please. You're not going to throw me. I'm not going to try to throw you. God, I wish I had an NPC in there so I could make a snarky comment. But uh, yeah, the two of you are able to um, slip off into one of the other rooms that you've already explored in here um, to get a private moment. So that was the second time I've come that close to death in what feels like less than a year. Actually, I guess that's the third time I've come that close to death in um, what feels like a year. So I had a particular request uh, that uh, perhaps I could record a message into you just in case. All right, I'll activate my recorder. And I will record a message that I will recite if uh, the triggering event occurs. Thank you, and please do not play that for as long as I live. I'll stay quiet. Much obliged. And he'll walk back to the room with the group. Yeah, uh, before they return. Club um, sauce room. Yes, before the two of them return, um, are the rest of you doing anything over there? Um, I think uh, it's probably going to be wiser if we try maybe being a little more stealthy when we move through the next sets of rooms. I was very stealthy. You are the one clanking around. Uh, I I think the person to blame, if there is any blame, isn't here at the moment. So, um, you know... I guess it's more just saying it out loud. Let's try to avoid opening doors right now. Maybe avoid opening them without checking to see what's on the other side. May I ask you, why are you avoiding this woman? It seems like we are destined to meet here. I disagree. I disagree very much. And I told you already, because if we do run into her, it's probably going to end in a fight and it's going to be a lot harder than what we've been doing so far. And... Oh, I don't think any of us are in a position to fight anyone right now. This woman, you are not interested in fighting her. She is much stronger than you? No, uh, she's not. Uh, but as I am right now, she's stronger than me. So... What does her medichlorian count? That's our word. You're not allowed to say that, so... Is programmed into me, I may say it. You know, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't get a chance to count it with the... Weird thing that Cock Qui-Gon has, so, um, I can't tell you. I don't know. The lady's razor? That was not a real. <laughs> what uh, is the name of your, uh, more powerful friend? Granny. Well, yes, Granny is <laughs> that's, that's the one. the most powerful. That's the one? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, the man you said is both strong and uh, and strong in the force. What is his what name? Uh, it's not someone we're ever going to hopefully never meet. So I don't think we really need to meet him. I would him. love to meet him. I don't think you do. I don't think you do want to meet him. What if I meet him and I don't know it's him? What should I call him? You should tell me his name so I don't run into him and say the wrong name. It is not Kevin, is it? It's not Kevin. It's definitely not Kevin. Uh, how about this? If we get back to the surface and we're all alive, uh, we can finish this conversation up there. But right now, I don't think it really helps us to move forward. So I, I really don't want to run into this person. So let's just um, try to stay on our toes and uh, try to not get noticed again if we can help it. Pretty sure one way or another we're going to run into them. I'm I'm assuming that we're probably after the same thing. So we're going to have to fight exactly. to get it. Exactly. We are going to meet here eventually. We should meet here now where we are as strong as possible. 
It, th- th- this is not as strong as possible. We will not get stronger as we stay here and fight more guys every room. Granny, what do you think we should do? Granny looks at Harry. I say we attack now. I feel strong. Oh. You no, look strong, no, no, Granny. No, 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 no. You look very strong. I feel great. Or, uh, we need a rest. As the, as the supervising board member of the May Day, I'm going to go ahead and, and call for an emergency vote of the board that includes me and or me and also me. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and overrule that decision. I care the Umbrin's proxy. A desire to survive, <laughs> if nothing else. Hey, this is in a vault. Philosophical differences aside, anything that's not essential to the mission is not essential to the mission. Granny, when you were talking to the fish boys, did they give any give you any idea where the uh, where the girl was? Yeah, that way. And she points back in the down that same hallway she pointed out last time. Oh, that's okay. What did the troopers say they were looking for here? Do you remember? Oh, right. Something about some coordinates to icy cor- coral. Ice coral. Does it mean anything to anyone? Icy cor- coral. <laughs> I will try to recall anything I have heard about icy coral. Give me an intelligence check, please. Could it be a lore check? Yeah, I'll allow a lore check. Yeah. Lore this hoe. I'm going to use a Wah. fate point to roll at advantage. Wahoo. Natural 20 for 27. Ooh, baby. Yeah, you, you're able to piece together based on what Granny's saying that she's trying to say ice and corona. Um, you know, the like Ison is referring to a star system and that there is something in the area that they're looking for. But they know where you would be able to tell that they know where the star system is. They just don't necessarily. They're looking for very, very specific coordinates within that system. You would figure they either won't be able to find what they're looking for just with a normal scouting patrol or there's something else going on. That's why they're coming here finding coordinates. Might be related to some kind of weapon they're searching for or something. Perhaps you're right. Maybe we'll not meet uh, your friend here. Maybe we'll meet her in Icy Kalana. Or not at all, which is also a great answer. Some things in life are unavoidable. Fate pulls us together. The Force pulls us together. Just think, the the Force brought us together. You could not avoid that, would you? Yeah, tell me about it. One way or another, you're going to end up facing that girl. You can either... Keep running from it, and it'll catch you by surprise, or you can head right for it, and maybe you have a chance of getting the upper hand. And there you have another thrilling session of Starships and Scoundrels. Remember to subscribe and tune back in next week to see what else may happen to the crew of the Mayday. Um, If you don't want to wait quite that long, go ahead and check out the channel, because we have tons of other videos about RPGs, board games, video games, movies, pretty much everything nerdy under the sun. Thanks as always for watching, and... May the force be with you. There's this one little box in particular that catches your eye and you kind of give it a bump and it pops open. Almost this light starts to shine out of it and you look down, you see some droid modification that would give you (laughs) dark vision. (laughs) Yeah. Perfect. Where have you been all of my existence?